In the previous video, you learned about the advantages of using Work Manager. In this video, you'll see the code needed to create an NQA task. Let's take a look at three important classes that you need to know to use Work Manager in your app. Worker, Work Request, and Work Manager. Let's begin with the Worker class. Your Worker implementations need to extend the Worker class and override its do work method to define what your task does. Work Manager uses this function to execute your task asynchronously in the background thread. Next, you need to create a work request that represents a request to perform the task. The work request also allows you to specify constraints over this task, such as run this task only while the phone is charging or when the device is connected to Wi-Fi. You can also use work requests to specify the frequency that you want to run your task, such as once or periodically. Finally, the Work Manager class takes all the work constraints into consideration and runs your task when these conditions are met. Work Manager also allows you to create a chain of multiple workers. This functionality is particularly handy when you want to run several tasks simultaneously or in a particular order. Let's say you want to apply multiple filters on a particular image. When that's complete, compress the image, and finally upload the compressed image to a server. If we translate this to a Work Manager worker tree, the app needs to queue three image filter workers to run in parallel. The output of these workers are then passed to a compress worker. Once the compress worker completes, the output is passed into the upload worker, which uploads the image to a remote server. Notice there is battery constraint on the filter image workers, storage constraint on the compress worker, and network constraint on the upload worker. Work Manager will check if these constraints are met before running the associated worker. Now let's see how this translates into code. Your code will look something like this once you create the workers and work requests with the desired constraints. To start queuing your workers, get an instance of Work Manager called begin with function, passing in the image filter workers as a list so they will be executed in parallel. Next, for each worker, call then function and pass in the worker that needs to run sequentially. Finally, make a call to NQ to schedule your tasks. Note, if any worker creates and returns an output, the work manager will pass the output as the input of the next worker in the chain. Work manager is the recommended solution for all tasks that need to run longer than the user remains on a single screen. Whether the user navigates away from that screen, the application, or even the device restarts, Work Manager guarantees that your tasks will be executed. That's not all. With Work Manager, you can do a lot more, such as observing the work request status and have backup policies for retiring work. You can also define periodic work requests, which can run a particular worker repeatedly. You can use tags to tag a particular work request. Tags can be used to observe the work request status or cancel the request if it is no longer needed. To learn more about features, tips, and techniques to use Work Manager, please check out the Code Lab, articles, and documentation linked below.